everybody thank you for coming through i still got the juice bite a sippy when the gotta speak my chat room reach to the peak all of my eyes stay be envy and the golden mystique my show goes on from week to week they come around just to hear me speak i'm tallahassee back to miami and daytona beach like share subscribe to the channel we would really love to face you talking tea and carrot news events and issues of biracials so like share and subscribe Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hold on, multi uh you done fell off from the backstage. Hold on, let me go to these comments. You gotta come back up, multi. Hey you, hey um BFK, hey Irby, hey Vibrant, hey 18th letter. Can y'all hear me? Put a one in the chat if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Let me make sure my uh, Wi-Fi is on. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for coming through. Okay, there go multi. Hold on. Hey, multi. Uh -huh. Hold on. It was a little bit messed up. Let me see okay. now. Hey, multi. Hey, Gigi. <laughs> okay, you're good. You're good. Thank you, everybody, for coming through. Hey, Donna. I appreciate it. Um, You guys know I haven't been live in months, okay? So I don't even know if they even sent out these notifications, but I definitely uh, appreciate you guys showing up, okay? Hold on. Is somebody already it's backstage? Been too long. Hold on, 18 letter. You're going to have to just give me a minute to, to, to get started, and, I, and I'll let you up. All right, multi. So what I wanted to talk about tonight was uh, actually Irby had let me know about Chrissy's live stream, right? And so mm. Chrissy has decided to leave the colorism conversation. What did you think about that, multi? You know, I thought that it was real convenient timing when you know that this space has just been growing every day, you know, with the OGs and the new bloods. So I, I mean, and we both know, we all know that they are constantly looking at our sector, but they don't like to speak on it. But when they do, you know that they've been clocking what's going on over here. So I did think that, that was pretty convenient. What do you think? Well, she did um, in her live stream, she did bring up the golden sphere and saying how like people were saying that she was scared and that's why she was putting all her stuff on private and all mm -hmm. this stuff. But she was one of the first ones to like come against the golden sphere and all this other stuff. So she did. She she is the one who probably does mention us by name. Um, I know Paris doesn't. I personally find Paris to be more despicable than her, um, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I just think that I don't know. You know, I feel conflicted on it because I heard both sides of it and I do get some of it. Where she said, like, hey, look, I don't want to be the fucking martyr of this shit. I don't want to be the face of this shit. Oh, hey, right. in his mercy. I didn't know that was you. Hey, honey. And um, so I kind of felt that shit because I get that shit or whatever. Whatever. You kind of have, like, everything on your back and you're getting attacked for everything. But, like, she does have the most subs, right? Like, she, she did put all this shit in the air. You know what I mean? Right, right. I feel like... So. You know, with that being said, like, I, I guess I get where she's coming from, like, uh, you know, as a woman online and a content creator. But that's just kind of where my, I don't know, my re me relating to it stops. Because at the end of the day, she did do that shit. She said that shit. And now there are people that want you to answer for it. So, yeah, you do look scary as fuck and you probably are. So, I mean, the thing is, it's just too, people are too fucking easygoing when it comes to talking shit about us. And now that they can see that the tides are clearly turning, like people are like, oh, maybe you bitches are jealous. 
uh, maybe y'all do got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all are fucking problematic. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, well, I, I didn't do anything, and I'm actually kind of tired of this content, and I don't want to go down for all of this. Well, yeah, I mean, but I mean, really, are they going to go down, though? At the end of the day, they are the majority, right. and they're already 10 years ahead of us in the game, um, literally and figuratively, um, subwise and all. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know what to think you about have more it, responsibility. Well, I feel like you have more responsibility, like when you have that many subs and you're preaching a certain narrative um, and stereotypes to a mass amount of people. And you yeah, get and she that was saying and you like, monetary gain from that. So that's why I'm like, girl, I don't care. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, she was like saying like that, um, you know, that she doesn't care about taking the loss of the money and all that other shit or whatever, like for, I guess, for like the peace of mind or whatever. And so like all the women in the audience were like, oh, you have just, you know, you just changed my life so much. And you've done all this, you know, all this positive shit that they're writing that she's done. And it's like, yeah, well, you know, there's two sides to that shit because mm. you've also done a lot of negative fucking shit. You literally have made these YouTube streets uncomfortable for mixed race and a lot of light-skinned women as well. You have increased the hatred mm. towards us, especially on social media. So, you know, how much is there really to be proud of, you know? Exactly. you got to kind of look at it of also from your, from your own, exactly, from your own perspective as well. Like, you're a smaller channel and think about all of the hate, you know, hate and, and backlash you've gotten. And you're a much smaller channel. I'm a much smaller channel. And people were crucifying us as if we were martyrs. So I feel like, yeah, I can relate to that. But at the same time, we're not relating in the same way, like at all. Like people aren't even yeah. really coming for her. Like we're just speaking our own mind. And honestly, I would say me and you and a lot of other people are very respectful about it. And even the ones that aren't respectful, they do Andy. hold back a lot. Mm -hmm. well that's why I, I said i related just in that way alone just mm -hmm. because when you don't even have your you know your own people aren't really like helping you out and you're just kind of like out there and you're just woo banging as they call it you're just swinging and shit and you you know you're getting fucked up Wait, basically Dylan. and so it's just like is this shit <laughs> worth it but for her yes it was worth it because she made a shit ton got, of money yeah. off of it yeah and she knew that and like that's what i don't like about these colorism channels is they throw rocks and they hold and they hide their hands and they pretend like I had no idea this was a lane. I had no idea this would be profitable. I would have more respect for you if you came out like a businesswoman and you were like, look, I really didn't even really like believe that shit. I'm not like traumatized or nothing like that from colorism. I just know that that is something that people wanted to hear. And that's content that people wanted me to provide. And I provided said services and I don't want to do that anymore because I'm really, I really don't care about it really not passionate about it i would have respected that but it's the whole pretending like oh i just didn't know yes you did and we all know and you know this is my third channel so i've rebuilt three fucking times right still rebuilding and mm -hmm. all of that fuck i mean all the animosity like i literally went to paris's live stream she she fucking cussed me the fuck out bro like i was just like you are so bothered by little old me and that negative energy has just permeated as far as I'm concerned. And I feel like they're cowards as well because mm -hmm. they want to strike everybody who wants to use their shit or whatever. And then Chris is like, I don't, they both said, Oh, I don't mind anybody critiquing my content or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, you fucking do. Yes, the you lies. fucking do. And not only do you strike channels down, but especially Paris, you get, um, what is it strike teams and all that other shit and then you're supposed to be black women empowerment but i hear like paris will be up at like two or three in the fucking morning getting everybody to go strike little you know channels on tiktok that are black women mm -hmm. and so these women are hypocrites okay they're only here for themselves period point blank they're not Crabs really the out here for the empowerment of any woman exactly exactly it, yeah, they're, they're definitely, it's the coward for me and all of this is they will, they sat up here and they talk shit without any pushback for years on mixed women. And like you said, they will strike your channel for even responding back and responding back, you know, using the talking points that they've been using against us. But of course they don't know our experience and, and they do know that we have an experience in general, but they just invalidate the shit out of it. Um, so when we come out swinging, 
and we got hella good points and actually how they're more damaging to black women than actually helpful. Then all of a sudden it's like strike her channel, their colorist, blase, blase. Baby, I can promise yeah, you. Yeah, it was the same. It was the same song and dance, their colorist and all this other bullshit. I mean, these women are just, they're ridiculous. Let's the, be honest. The only thing I say about that is like, they're going to keep calling us colorists no matter what, even expressing, even if we're the mo- utmost respectful and just even expressing our own experience, we're going to be called colorists. And that's why I don't care. I'd be like, well, then you're jealous. I'm colorist, then you're jealous. Okay. So that's how that well, works. The thing is, is right now, I think that they're really pressed because Exoticals United has grown exponentially and like, so ever since mm-hmm. she first came out, she specifically had her high heel on Chrissy's neck or whatever. Mm-hmm. So she got something going on over there with EU where she really wants to, you know, get at EU specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just think that's cowardice because it's like she even said it. She has said time and time over the years, like if you for every action, there's a reaction. If you're going to come out and you're going to make um, your platform trashing light skin or mixed race women. You don't think that eventually, like after 10 years, that motherfucker is going to be tired of that shit and they're going to come out and they're going to talk. Now, do I agree necessarily with the way that some of these people go about it? I'm going to be honest. I don't. But at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. am I like offended? Am I like, oh my God, oh my God. No. Like for what? Like I sit here and listen to y'all talk shit about us. And then I go to other spaces. I go to other people's Mm -hmm. spaces. They're literally calling each other monkeys and the hard ERs and all this terrible shit. But you're pressed about the little light skin and mixed race channels, like the, the fake outrage. I just can't do it. Hey, EU, how you doing, honey? Hey, girl. So there's hey, that. Honey. Yeah. It, it, like you said, it's the fake outrage and you know, it, it, it's it, the hypocrisy for me also. Cause they'll say, you know, you can't use my content, but you'll literally use my race, use my image to promote hate towards uh women like me and you know it's not even just the hate of it all but just um those stereotypes and you won't even have the decency to have an actual you know mixed or biracial woman or an exotical woman actually tell their experience in peace and like have normal discourse no it's just all straight slander you've had uh rashida on your channel and she's the dark skin activist okay you ask her she's the first and only you know what i mean we had her on and we had Dress great discourse. Too. Exactly. We had great fucking discourse with her. Like there was no issue at all. And she was down to debate and all of that. And I'm like, see, that is something I can respect. Do we go after Rashida? No, because Rashida can come up here and say how she feels and listen to how other people feel without actually being a nutcase or acting jealous. So that's one thing Rashida got on all you bitches doing the colorism stuff. And she really don't come off that way. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Because that's the whole thing that, like, some of these people, they want to have a one-sided conversation just trashing us instead of, like you said, discourse. And I don't feel pressed when I go to these channels. Like, I have, unfortunately, I'm very desensitized to the bullshit on YouTube. I don't go over there. I don't get pressed. I ain't worried. I ain't concerned. I watch some of the dark skin channel. I watch Rashida's channel. Um, I watch the new ones channel. Um, the dark skin click. I think she has a good channel. Like everybody, there's room for everybody to come out here and speak their fucking piece. Period. Like, and I did want, I did want to say, like, I agree. Like, that's what YouTube is for. Like, that's what a platform mm-hmm. in general is for. Like, we're supposed to have these conversations. But I, I feel like they're just super butthurt. Because even when you're agreeing with the stuff that they say, they still call you colorist. Like, for example, EU, like, they'll, they'll say that her shit is trolling. And, like, a little bit of it is trolly, of course. I mean, because you guys are just straight fucking rude on your shit Mm -hmm. and then someone trolls you a little bit and you're start you're crying your fucking unambiguous tears i don't care for it um (laughs) also like she'll sit up there and agree with the shit that you're saying she's like yeah maybe i did have a better life and they're like you fucking bitch i fucking knew it i knew it you know like they get so angry and it's just funny to me because i'm like see this is exactly how you guys are bad for black women because you'll tell them that their life is horrible and that they're at the bottom of the totem pole. And I have never, ever preached something like this. I don't think that there's really anyone None of us in have. the face that has done that. Exactly. They talk it's bad about like, ridiculous. Words. Right. I do not yeah, believe that. 
at all. At all. Yeah, unambiguous mm. tears since they say that we cry our light skin tears. You know, Paris cussed me out and said I was over here crying my biracial light skin tears. Mm-hmm. And we'd be laughing. That- <laughs> Girl, she called me a tragic like mulatto and all insult. that shit. And these bitches have the nerve to play victim. Literally Girl. have the nerve to play fucking victim when they've been bullying bitches on YouTube for 10 years plus. Period. You know, and that I feel like that's the only up that these spaces kind of have on colorism spaces is the fact that we let y'all go on and on and on and on and on for years. All that evidence building up and then finally, boom. Here we go, entering the conversation, kicking the door open. And that's what y'all really And everybody's not going to be there and ran y'all fucking mouth for way too long. And there's no way that you cannot say that you're not obsessed and jealous and kind of fucked off in the head because you've been talking about it for years and y'all will complain about us, what, talking about it for a year or two? And it's been how many for you? It's a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Exactly. We got them um, 10 years to talk their shit. No, literally. EU girl, pull up. You don't need no you don't need no headphones. You better find, find some AirPods. Come on up. <laughs> yeah, EU, you are definitely the topic of conversation. You are up and down lipstick. We need your two and the girls are <laughs> mad, honey. The girls are girl. definitely mad. But I will say though, and everybody is really defense over here. Now, yeah, I might be a little bit more patient and a little bit more like reasonable maybe in some of my content compared to other people mm-hmm. and I'm not saying any names but everybody's not the same and everybody does their shit differently and like you said you guys are blatantly calling people ugly saying they're waste of life skin. I mean just so much shit you're literally calling us mediocre and then we'll call you jealous and you're like <laughs> but I thought we were mediocre what are you getting <laughs> mad for what are you crying for what are you crying for babe but yeah, like, if Chrissy, we were really so mediocre, how are we content? <laughs> this community has definitely grown. There's lots of channels coming out, coming out, especially um, as far as exotical channels, right? But yeah, she's always still saying the golden sphere, the golden sphere, even though I do associate it all together. Let's be honest, we're all in the out, we're in the same we're in the same sector, exactly. right? Exactly. So, but what was my point? <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I do that. <laughs> I forgot what my point was, oh. but Chrissy always, you she know. even also, def- she deflected on us too right. when she was fighting right. with, um, divested zealot. And she was like, yeah, the bitches in the, in the, in the golden sphere and all this other shit. Like, why are you bringing us in y'all bullshit? Like, because you think free, that she maybe, <laughs> yeah, like it's insane. They're suspicious. And- They're suspicious. Exactly. Exactly. You know, They're everybody's so going to do their content differently. And like I said, I might not do mine how everybody else does it. And everybody doesn't do it how I do it. And the same with you or whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to mm. sit up here and be like, oh, my God, this is so terrible when they are saying the worst shit. And like I said, that that has been felt mm. in the in, in the in the social media streets, like especially for like mixed race women. You know what I'm saying? It's a literally cold shoulder. It's literally, we've been painting out to be the fucking enemy and we've been allies the whole fucking time. Literally. And I really do give it up to my mixed race people. Like for real, my exotic people, I really give it up to y'all because I feel like we put up with so, so much, just like the stuff that we deal with in our real lives and in our families. And then It's also the internet too. It's almost like inescapable. It's like being in a pressure, like a a pressure pot and it explodes. So that's why I I really do have sympathy, even for the content creators that I feel like, okay, that's a little bit childish or, you know, that's, that's, you know, a little bit mean. I have sympathy for it because I see the colorism channels and those girls be in there saying disgusting shit about us. They be going the fuck off. And guess what? Their community has nothing but sympathy for them. Nothing but sympathy. Facts. So I do the same for my girls. Literally the same. I'm like, well, well, exactly even, if they're not, even if I don't agree, I got sympathy. Hey. I mean, I guess just extending a little bit of grace. You know what I'm saying? More so exactly. than sympathy. Yeah, because like old, I said, everybody's yeah, going to do that. shit the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're owed that for sure. That's what I think it is. Exoticals United is that the content. Nobody comes out and makes content, and they're just like blah 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 blah. It's literally these are reactionary videos. This is reaction.
reactionary content. And so when you put their own words in their face, they're like, damn, I do fucking look bad. And I don't necessarily think they care about looking bad, but I think that somebody in the comment section said, you know, when it was just, you know, 50 on two, it was all good. But now that like more people are stepping up to the plate and creating channels, it's like, oh, I'm fucking out of here. I'm out of here. You know, right. The fight is starting to even out. And all of a sudden, oh, oh, you don't want to you don't want to talk about how mediocre we are anymore. You don't want to talk about that anymore. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the funny part to me is to watch them retreat when they have much bigger numbers than us. They have massive numbers than us. And those numbers don't lie. And that's why I'm like, bro, you guys will sit up. Y'all have sat up here and hated on us for 10 plus years. And then when you get called a fucking hater, y'all are ripping your edges out. I don't understand. What's the problem, Buki? What's the problem? Keep going. <sighs> oh, gosh. Okay, the one... Hold on, let me let E you up. Hey, you. Hey. Hey. Thanks for coming through, honey. You are actually <laughs> the guest of honor, honey, because like I said earlier, you have had your heels on, especially Chrissy's neck since you came out and the girls are mad. Yeah, I literally, I went to college, got a bachelor's degree and Chrissy has been talking about light skins the whole time. Like literally she's been talking about light skins for the last 10 years. Yeah, she said it on her live today, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yikes. 10 years. Absolutely. And yeah, you, you know, you're successful, you have money, you have all those things, but I don't know. I just feel like at the end of the day, we still have to be able to look at ourselves in the mirror when we fucking wake up. Right. You know, honestly, mm -hmm. I think the content, our content is what changed her mind. I mean, she'll never say, but we know you've been looking and I know it had to have made that flip switch because I feel like if this um, sector never came along, she would have went for another 20. Let's be fucking real. Would have went for another 20. But since you're getting called out, you're getting called jealous and it's being exposed for what it really is. That's why you're striking channels that you are using your videos, which is correct. You can do that. Um, we can see you. Oh. Oh, okay. We cool. can see you on the, yeah. I modded you up. Um, oh, yeah, yes. He's very Go ahead, EO. Yeah. Oh, I was mm -hmm. just going to say, she's very threatened. My channel is literally 10 times smaller than hers. Yeah, she's so threatened that, like, we scared her off YouTube because she can't handle the smoke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that just reminded exactly. me of the last time I had EU up there. She was like, you can't handle the smoke. I think it was Rashida. <laughs> she can't handle the smoke. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think, have so a little bit more respect for Rashida. That's for sure. At least she'll come. Well, I mean, you know, Rashida at least says not all. Like the <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she at least says not all. But, you know, I do also, from a content creator's perspective, realize that for some people, their heart's not really in it, and it's just content. So that's why I say I don't necessarily take it um, personal. I just feel like we're a necessary um, component of the conversation because it's not going to be y'all just jumping us, jumping us, jumping us. Like, fuck that shit. You said, get the fuck out your space. We got out the space. We made our own space. And then it's like, oh, you're colorists for making a space. Yeah, exactly. You're colorists like, for not taking up room in our spaces. Right. <laughs> and it's like, if we admit that we have privilege, then suddenly we are like, having a superiority complex. And have you ever noticed they can never describe what a superiority complex is? Basically, if you have self-esteem, you have a superiority complex. Exactly. Thank you, Annie. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And, and you know, um, I, on your video, EU, I think it was, uh, which one? I don't know, but you were talking about how, um, oh, how they keep saying that how we all just think that we're better than black women. And there has never been one single woman in this space that has ever said anything like that ever, ever. Yeah, exactly. I don't see us comparing ourselves to women at all. Yeah. Any race. We have never like pulled up pictures of them, called them names or like talked about how ugly their features are, but they have done that to us multiple times. Like they pulled up pictures of ice mm. spice they talked about uh, light skinned women with type four hair saying that they have dried teeth out. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and Doja Cat too. Mm -hmm. They put up that picture of recently. 
of Ice Spice without makeup. And they were like, oh my God, look how she looked, you know? And they're, they're so hyper-focused on looks when I feel like majority of the content that I'm hearing in this space is about the way that they behave. Because no one cares how you look. It's the way you behave. Period. Exactly. What you're putting Period. out there. Period. And, you know, and the reason why I got involved in this, because it is, like, hurtful for people, especially... You know, it's kind of sad when you see people come into spaces and they want to like hang out and they, you know, and then it's just like, oh, like, you know, I just don't like bullying, period. I just yeah. don't like fucking bullying. And it just became a bullying situation. And it still is. I would it never, cause, like, we have our own space here, right? I would never be like, yeah, you know what? Dark skin with me, you can totally come in my space. But you know what? Um, this is a space for us. So I'm going to need you guys to quiet down and not take up too much room. Okay. And if someone says something to you about the way that you look, I don't care. Like, that's crazy to me. Why would you even want people in your space that you clearly do not like, you know, like you have a, a vendetta against kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I just made. <laughs> E, you said we need to talk about colorism. E, you okay? Let's have a conversation. Chrissy, I quit. I can't. I can't. This is a damn shame, y'all. This is a damn shame. But I will say that I do realize how this can be a That's toxic hilarious. genre, right? Like, we can all admit that, right? So it can be taxing, I guess, if you're, like, emotionally invest it and that was one of the mistakes i made when i first came to youtube was being emotionally invested but as you grow as a content creator you kind of you know you figure out how to work Learn your way through navigate. that yeah. but you you've been here 10 years in the game you are not affected by nobody talking shit about you on youtube like that i don't believe that you know yeah i felt like she had that mindset of there can only be one like only one colorism content creator you know, she didn't actually want to have a conversation because a conversation is when two people talk back and forth and like both people listen to each side. But she obviously didn't want to hear our side. She just wanted to come talk her shit. And now that we have a whole space and like multiple channels who are willing to talk about it now, suddenly she's like, OK, I'm done. I quit. What a mess. What a mess. So what do you, you think um, Paris is next? Oh, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I haven't watched Paris in a while, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I've noticed that a lot of them, they have basically become MLS celebrity T channels at this point. So now they just like stop all the MLS rap girls and stuff and just like make videos about them. Yeah. So I don't know. And what's the other one's name? Matt with the M. What's her? How you say her name? Oh, oh yeah. The, the Mademoiselle. No, I haven't mm. even seen. Is she still? Does she still make content? I haven't even seen her. The other one that has like the dreadlocks and the, and she has like the artsy oh, makeup. Uh, yeah, my Oa's world. She's another one. She's always throwing shade and talking shit. Yeah, so I will say with my Oa's world, I do think she's a little bit less of a hypocrite because at least she wears her natural hair, and at least you know, because like with Eloho and the rest of them, I'm like, you're literally putting on mixed women's hair texture while talking shit about mixed women. Like, what are you doing? Oh, mm. uh, yeah. I, what, I just Madame responded. Lizelle? No, uh, Eloho was doing that. Oh, like, yeah. Because used to do, like, wigs and stuff. But, yeah, my Oa's world, I just made a video responding to one of her videos today because they were talking about Cardi B and how, like, she only got to where she is because of light skin and mixed privilege. And then it's, That's like, crazy. the same people that talk crap about privileges, those people would use privileges if they had them, too. Ugh. It, yeah that that's another thing that I've always thought about I'm like well I know for a fact that majority of you if you had a privilege right of being a white person a Latina an Asian whoever you perceive has privilege you would do it too I mean why do you think the bleaching industry is like a billion dollar industry because you got like hey, some Josh. people believe if they bleach their skin they, they'll be able to obtain some sort of privilege. And maybe they do to some extent, you know? And that maybe that's why they do it. I mean, it's no different than when people get plastic surgery and they believe that there's some privilege in having a BBL or bigger lips or, you know, whatever, a perfect body. And so they do that. 
Um, yeah. But it doesn't mean that it's not going to be judged. It doesn't mean it's not going to be criticized. So I, I think yeah. that's like a huge issue I have with them is the fact that they've been able to openly talk and feel how they feel for so long. And then as soon as there are people coming in kind of criticizing that and then sharing their own experience, it's like, bye, I gotta go. <laughs> and also they don't realize- Let me just, let me just welcome In His Mercy real quick. Hey, yeah. In His Mercy, hey. so happy yeah. to see Hi. you, honey. Hey. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> yes. It's been too long. What were you gonna say, EU? Oh, I was going to say, um, they also don't realize that one of the privileges they have as unambiguous black women is that they had the privilege to talk shit on YouTube for years, call people names, call people ugly. But if any of us did that same thing, our channels would be gone. So it's actually a privilege mm -hmm. that you can come online and criticize people for free or criticize people freely. And then nobody's allowed to respond. Right. Because they have built this image of being at the bottom of the totem pole and the whole punching down, et cetera. Like there, there's so much that y'all, everybody has some form of privilege. The let's just be real. You just either want more privileges or you would be willing to trade the privileges that you have for someone else's privileges. And I just feel like that would be real. Like that's a very human thing to feel. But right. the fact that they tiptoe around these deeper conversations just to talk about, oh my God, such and such is actually ugly. And they don't look better than us. You guys have been looking stupid for a decade at this point. Y'all yeah. aren't having the real conversation. Yeah, and his I mercy come that. back up. I think she's having issues. Oh, what did you say? Planet Mulatto okay. says, so what does okay. his lipstick alley say? You know, I'm glad you said that because you reminded me. That's what your the video I was talking about. You was your lipstick alley comment foolery video. So oh, yeah. I literally oh, went yeah. over there today and I sent um, Multi a screenshot of where they were talking shit about her over there. So apparently they have a bunch of threads over there and they have a lot to say over there on lipstick alley. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to have to dig into that later. I love looking at lipstick alley. Um, they just I never they go been there. acting a fool on so many. I never go there anymore. But when I first started YouTube, I loved going to Lipstick Alley for content because there's also decades of content over there. That's why I'm like, you bitches are tripping. You don't want nobody to call you jealous, and y'all are doing the same shit for decades on different platforms. Like, and it's crazy. Um, then you know you see this uprising of mixed content creators and you know biracial content creators. And all of a sudden, it's like, what? They can do that? It's just silly to me, the whole thing. But Lipstick Alley, they have some really good um, content over there because they stay talking shit about everybody and they mom. Yeah, they have all so. the tea, like, early, too. You know what I mean? They do. They got, they, they're, they're doing their thing over there or whatever. So if anything, you know, if you're being mentioned over there, that means you're making waves at the end of the day. And I guess exactly. they're going to have to pay that exotic <laughs> exactly. tax, right? Exotic yeah. tax. <laughs> exactly. Someone said, I have a love-hate relationship with Lipstick Alley. No, I love Lipstick Alley. I think that there's some really funny stuff over there. Um, yeah, I don't hate it. I love it. They just have stuff on there like I'm not all I don't always like, but it's pretty good. It's successful. But I did bring up tell me what you think about this, what you guys think about this, because I did bring it up on another um, video or whatever, because a lot of people in these spaces, they always say, you know, dark skin, dark skin, dark. Is it necessarily just dark skin or is it just the community in general? Because do you think that maybe sometimes the dark skins are getting, um, you know, getting that? jacket thrown on them when it's really the whole community that's um uh participating in colorism not just dark-skinned people yeah i think that like everybody can contribute to colorism i guess like the reason that i made my channel is because chrissy and channels like hers were the main ones that i saw talking crap about my particular phenotype so that's the only yeah. reason that i like made my channel or whatever because i felt like that's the wrong response like, why don't you ever bring smoke to the white men that created Hollywood? They created colorism, texturism, featurism, and racism. And instead of bringing them smoke, you guys want to go marry them and birth children by them. Ooh. Yeah, that's always been the craziest <laughs> part about, you know, that's the, actually, that's the most worrisome part. It's got a lot of them hate, they hate us, but they want to marry white men. 
Right. You know? so that's yeah. just jealousy to me more like you want to take the mixed woman's place or whatever, or you're hoping that by marrying that white man, you can approximate yourself to his white privilege. You're hoping that that white privilege mm -hmm. will trickle over to you and the mixed privilege will trickle to your children. So that's why I say this is jealousy. Girl, you hit that mark so good. I've been watching mm -hmm. you for so long. That is so exciting to like be on the same panel as you, EU, because you're so excited. Like you oh. say all the <laughs> shit I want to say on the internet all the time, but I don't have that kind of time because I got kids and shit. <laughs> yeah. But girl, like it's so good because as soon as I saw that Chrissy decided she didn't want to talk no more, I thought that it was based mm. on you. I thought it was because of you. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. EU who has her high on her neck right now. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, <laughs> queen. Right on her neck. You know, I, I, you know, I come every so often. You know, I, I, I've i always been a supporter of Gigi and Moti, and I've been on many of their live streams. I love them so much. I'm so glad they're love still you. here. Heart, yeah. heart. But, boo, you are fucking hitting it. Like, I hit you every day, and then I watch all of your EU content on all of my other YouTube pages so you can get all of your exotical text boo. Oh, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yes, so everybody, cool. please um, support all of the um, content creators in this space. There's so many of us now. Just, all you know, show love. It's beautiful. Watch the video from front to back. Hit that like. Leave a comment, you know. Um, if not, then, like, our voices will continue to be drowned out. Period. Point blank. But they're not exactly. though. They're getting louder. Like, like, like. M remember back, back, like a year ago, two years ago, when we were doing like the 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 golden sphere. And I mean, my name says golden in it. I was so proud of it, and I was so proud of you girls going out there and everything that you went through to tolerate. But like, we're out there, and like, like EU is like second generation coming up, and then the ones behind her like mm -hmm. all mixed up and things like that. Like it wasn't. It wasn't for nothing. I told you, we are out here. We're supporting you. We appreciate you. We love you. Here we are coming from the woodworks. I haven't seen you for a long time. You haven't seen me for a long time, but here we are, baby. We're here. <laughs> we are here. It's hard for you because it's your face. That's the face of mm -hmm. the movement. No, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard for it's harder for you because it's your face. But at the yeah. same time, there are those of us back in the woodwork, back in the cut, watching your content, liking your content, sharing your content, commenting on mm -hmm. your content, supporting your content, uh um, um, donating to your content, all of those things because we're here, we're not nobody. And 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 just the fact to see that like a content creator like Chrissy, I mean, I mean, is it true or is it not true? We all started watching Chrissy's content because we thought we were being supportive. We thought we were being good mixed women who supported all of our sisters until they weren't our sisters any fucking more. We're our own sisters. We're our own group. You created. I said we've always been allies, so they just turned on us out of nowhere. You know what I mean? But you created this space, right? So that right. women like me and other women can be like, hey, you're right. I, I do have a right to, to say my piece. You're right. You don't get to put your fucking foot on my neck just because you feel like it because you're mad. You can't be mad at me because of how I was born, how I was raised, what my culture is, um, 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 how I behave in public. And 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 how my hair looks, how my skin looks, how my nose looks, how my kids look, how my husband looks, how my dad looks, how my mom looks, how my grandparents look. I don't have any control over that. What are you so mad about? But the fact that she just 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 like literally went on on YouTube to say that she quit. AJ, that's you. You that's did a lot. that. Yeah, it's because the exoticals have united. So, you guys, I have yeah, to head yeah. out, but I'll be in the comment section, okay? All right. Thanks for coming Thank up, you. EU. I appreciate you, honey. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So, so yeah. So, I feel like she's keeping it alive a little bit. So, I do think, though, I do want to bring up one point that everybody might not like, but I did want to get this across, which I don't necessarily appreciate. Um, I think that we need for people to understand that this space has um, 
well, let's be honest, all different types of people here, right? But it was right. initially started um, light skins, like light skinned black women, um, well, men too, because, you know, it was, um, you know, uh, light skins, mm -hmm. um, MGMs, and biracials. But for whatever reason, and sometimes it's even the content creators in this space, um, Lipstick Alley, um, these other channels, it's always the biracials, the biracials, the biracials. You're not going to put that jacket and come over here and talk your shit, even if you're in this space, and then pass that shit off on the biracials. Everybody need to stand in their own shit, because I see people doing that in this space, and I don't appreciate mm -hmm. that shit at all. Like, we're all here together saying whatever it is that we have to say, okay? We're not going to uh, make the biracials the martyrs of this space, and they have done that since the beginning, okay? Right. I think that that's important to, for us to have a uh, discourse about in our own group, we are all mixed, right? But some of us, you know, are mixed with different things and some of us come from all over the world, right? So yeah, we we're all mixed. Similar, exactly, we have a very similar experience, right? But not the exact same, just right. like any other group. So these are the conversations that we should be having in our group that other, I know other groups, you know, may not be having but we got to understand each other's experience. And I feel like as biracials, they try to use like as a defense or like an attack against us when they try to like separate us and they'll be like the biracials, the biracials, the biracials, right? But then they'll be yeah. talking about something that the biracials didn't do, you know what I'm saying? So they right. try to kind of separate us that way. And it's just something that we all need to be aware of. Just like if they, we're to talk about a certain topic, right? And they're talking about the exoticals or they're talking about someone that's mixed with, you know, black and Hispanic or something like that. They can attack us from all different angles when it comes to that. So I just think it's something to be aware of. And when you hear biracials coming down and being like, hey, they trying to scapegoat us for that. Don't take it personally. Like it's not against you. It's just spreading information which is what we should do. It's one of those staying on code things. So it's not a bad thing, but it's just something that we need to be aware of. And it's something that and we that's can why also I brought it up for all of us about. to stay yeah, on code. About. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's why I brought it up. Because if you're not biracial, it might not bother you that much and you might not care, but we all care about our own images. Okay. Right. You know, you got to care about each other. And that's a part of staying on code. You know what I mean? So it's just mm -hmm. conversations. I you might have a child and then they're directly biracial. You know hey, what I'm lovely. saying? So this will be something that might affect you regardless if you can't yeah, personally we should, relate. We, we should concern ourselves more with sticking together than allowing ourselves to be separated. Like I don't mm -hmm. see a separation between myself and a biracial woman. And I also don't see my a separation between my, myself and a, and an MGM woman. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. allowing, allowing ourselves to be separated and cut like a cake in that way is, is what is going to ultimately defeat us if we allow that. At the end of the day, we're mixed girls, we're we're golden girls, we're 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 we are we are the chocolate. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All of those things, but we can't allow ourselves to to allow other people to come into our space and say, Well, you're biracial because you have a white parent and a black parent or an Asian parent and a black parent and you're MGM because you have and you're Hispanic because you have because Hispanic is not a race and you're you know we can't hear that and like if we allow ourselves to be divided in that way especially at the starting points of our movement then they decide who we are we don't decide who we are Yes. And you see how Planet Law, he says they want to split the biracials from other mixed people. And that is just pretty much my point. And that, and people, you know, whether we're staying on code or not, we're still going to talk about the reality of things. And so when other people mm -hmm. in the space do that, and they specifically call out biracials, that's not being on code. It's not. Exactly. Exactly. We don't, we, we fight for all, we fight for each other. And I feel like when we first came out, I feel like we had a really hard time finding our footing and even expressing and expressing that in the correct way. So I really just like love how we're doing it tonight because I feel like it's very clear, very direct. Because like you said, like I feel like I was very much in my emotions when I first came into this and it's kind of almost like, how can you not? Because it's like the first time you get to speak up 
ever, you know, and they've been going on and on and on for years. When you finally speak up, you're going to be like super passionate and it's not going to be perfect. And it's not going to be like fucking always professional, but I feel like, you know, I'm a vet at this point. So I've cooled down a lot more. So I'm able to express, okay, this is how I'm feeling. And this is what I think would be a good plan moving forward for us. Um, but yeah, we have to, uh, we have to fight for all. Just like on my channel, Gigi's channel, and on several other channels in this community, we don't just talk about our own experiences. We also speak for our sisters and our brothers' experiences. Um, I've talked about mixed people that do not have the same mix as me. I've talked about MGMs. I've talked about light skin people. You know, all across the board. So it's not just about well, I'm not going to be bothered by it if it doesn't relate to me. No, like we should all support each other fully. Facts. Facts. Because we always have uh, on our end. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's that for that. Um, so we did cover that they were talking shit at Lipstick Alley. We covered that Chrissy allegedly has quit the colorism conversation. Don't give up now, girl. Don't give up now. <laughs> And let me see. Uh, oh, hybrid is fucking trolling me. Let me get his ass up out of here. Anytime, yeah. anytime they see us being positive, it's so funny. Yeah, because uh, even they're saying the like, oh, what about the men? What about the men? What about the men? Um, we do have men that support our channel, but when you're screaming, what about right. the men? Uh, the men in this space have not been on code. They have not supported us, and all they have done is try to derail us, just like you're trying to do right now mm -hmm. on this live stream. Period. Point blank. Miss Queen, it exactly. is still a topic, unfortunately. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> It is. You would think that it would turn to yourself at some point. <laughs> Not, mm -hmm. She said, be negative, boo. <laughs> Girl, you're so funny. She's like, I <laughs> do approve of the bullshit, period. Exactly, April. And that's why um, everybody teamed up in this space. Because, you know, we do have different experiences, but we do have a lot of similar experiences as well because we are oftentimes mistaken for one another you know period point blank and it's a fact that when i have told my stories i know for a fact everyone cannot like relate to a t but i feel like light-skinned women mgm women biracial women and men uh most of them are more sympathetic towards that they're like okay i i understand you know that i can understand even though i haven't fully just like I can understand the plight of any race of woman or man, like, to be honest, like, I can relate to almost anything, you know, but like, or sympathize with almost anything without it having to be like this overwhelming, like, oh, my God, like, that's exactly what I've experienced. No, it's just not realistic. Mm -hmm. Or some of y'all are just All basic right. and having the same experience. I don't know. So I definitely appreciate everybody coming up. We went 48 minutes. I'm going to open the panel for the last 15 minutes or so. I'm going to open it up for the guys or whatever because they're itching to get up here to give their point of views. Get on and, then, um, and then we'll see what they have to say. Hey, Irby. Hey, hey Rakim. What's up, everyone? Um, we do need to be on court. We do need to be on. Sorry, guys. Minute. We just had to let the ladies talk for a minute first, and we let you guys up just to you know get our shit off. How y'all doing? I'm Fine. Doing all, I'm doing all right, Gigi. How you ladies doing tonight? Good. Good. Thank you for hitting the panel. Thank you for allowing me on your platform. I think, I of course. I think, I think the men, men and the women in this space should be on. Um, should be on code with each other because they're trying to divide. Because you Not see, to they emphasize. don't emphasize. They don't badmouth mixed men or light skinned men. Or none of them men. They just That's because they want to date you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Divided. I mean, they do. They do bad mouth. I mean, light skin men. They be like, "Oh, they extra soft. I don't want no light skin." But I feel like the women that do that, it's because they're conditioned to do that. And then the other half of them is because they really want one, but they're too insecure and they don't think that one would want them. So it's kind of like rejecting you before you reject me thing. Yeah, I want to speak on Chris because I brought that to um, Gigi's attention. Yes, um, you did. Thank you, Irving. You definitely <laughs> was like, the tea is hot. Go catch it. 
<laughs> for the longest. So what do you think her, about all this, Derby? For the longest, for many years, she's been shitting on light-skinned people, particular women, between the women. Okay, her and there used to be this other group of people, great, the grapevine or whatever they call. And the only women that that only light skinned women they've been around them was always like the pick me that kisses their butt, kisses their ass. But now once y'all came around, and then that the more y'all channels are popping up, they scared of that energy. They don't want. They've been one side for so long. Um, hold on. Uh, Miss Queen says, "What's an MGM?" And an exotical, basically, um, when they were doing um, their anti light skin or mixed race content, they would call us exoticals. I don't know if it started from Cynthia G, but I, that's where I heard right. it from. But it wasn't like a nice thing. It was like, oh, the exoticals, the exoticals. So, Exoticals United made a channel, and she basically took back that name and tried to put it. And like, you know, where you flip it, flip it into something cute or whatever. So that's what an exotical is, is basically, huh? An exotical would be Ice Spice. No, no, it started, yeah. it started from Chrissy. It started from Chrissy. And, and she oh, said, was it Chrissy? Yeah. She said, what was the MGM? It'd be Vanessa Williams and Beyonce. Yeah, an MGM will be a person who is mixed over the generations, and they might still identify as black, but they, they have significant um, mixed ancestry. Or it's somebody who has bi like a biracial parent or parents. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, yeah. biracial is like first generation mixed and uh, MGM is just like second or you may maybe third generationally mixed. I like explaining it like that because it, it doesn't, it seems less confusing to me. Like if I think of it like that, I'm like, oh, they have a biracial parent or whatever. Because some people I know they like to explain it like, well, they have a white grandparent. And I just, Mm -mm. I'm like, just say they have a biracial parent than if they have like a Molly, white or other Molly grandparent. Molly Simmons the whole space, the whole space is mixed or light skin, but at the same time, obviously, there's everybody is welcome. But um, we have um, different like blocks, and we have different blocks. You know what I'm saying? We have, um, you know, people that are they either they say they're golden we have people that are just like i'm exotical we have the creoles there's just so many different more av there's the brown skin variety. exoticals yeah, yeah there's variety yeah. now it has grown mm -hmm. it's something for everybody and the thing is like you can i i'm subscribed to all these channels like i'm not uh i'm not brown skin but i'm subscribed to brown skin exoticals and you know i support all mixed people of any background whatever it don't matter you may you don't know, know, but she's in the chat. I would like to ask her and all y'all in the panel. So, um, will y'all ever challenge Chrissy to a debate one day? I definitely will. Chrissy she would never take it. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, like can, I, can I speak on this really quickly? Go ahead. Uh, sure, go ahead. From my perspective. She, she attacked black men too, because you know. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, like from my perspective on seeing this, like I've been saying the same thing since I've joined Gigi's platform, me growing up. I never I didn't understand where this anger and vitriol came from, from a lot of these women, because like m my grandmother was the ideal version of a um, dark skinned woman with, you know, uh, high self-esteem about herself. And we had all different type of colors in our family from light skin to, to dark skin. So I wasn't raised that way to have an inferiority complex or, you know, look down on um, people that are uh, multiracial or biracial, anything like that. Because in my family and, you know, based off my experience, they were just considered black. I understand that people, you know, label themselves biracial, multiracial and different things like that. But when I was that's from my perspective. So when I saw Chrissy, I supported Chrissy in the beginning because Chrissy, her channel went through transformations. In the beginning, she was not about colorism and she was not about all this hate and vitriol. Chrissy said in multiple streams, if you watch the streams long enough, she talked about how she had a marketing degree. She had a master's in marketing degree and she used that to manipulate her audience. And she did all of this for financial gain. Um, Chrissy stopped doing debates when she um, debated the uh, Transformer chick that she had up there. And then after that debate didn't go well, then she stopped doing the debate. She said it herself multiple times that 
she was going to create a one-sided narrative because other people make it one-sided. And a lot of the things that she did, like she created so much anger and vitriol towards uh, biracial women for no reason. And I've seen multiple biracial women have to walk on eggshells, you know, being in these chats and trying to speak to these people like, we ain't got nothing against y'all. We haven't done anything against y'all. But what it really comes down to when you look past the false narratives, it is a group of women, not all, of course, but it is a group of women that have low self-esteem, that don't like themselves, and they really try to project that on to other women because of their jealousy uh, and their perceived notion of privilege that these women had that they wish they had. And, you know, we it's all... It's a little bit more than that, though, because, like you said, not all, right? But And there's these women that have these insecurities. I have actively seen them pass on these inse- pass on these same insecurities they have onto the next generation. And that's it's what, much that's bigger what, than the, just them. That's, these that's, are like mothers and aunties yeah. that we're talking about. They will talk about how they have a biracial niece and they're like, well, I'm training her to make yeah. sure that she knows that she's not better than anyone. That is crazy. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right, Multi. And this this doesn't surprise me with Chrissy because if people know, at one point, Chrissy supported the divestment movement. She supported everything that was going on with the divestment. She insinuate for a lot of young ladies to divest and go out. And meanwhile, these women was going out and they was divesting, but they was picking any type of men or making wrong choices. And then they would tell her of their failed divestment and she never had a response for it. Um, When she saw how nasty the divestment movement was getting, as far as them saying, you know, uh, racial, um, hateful speech and different things like that, she fell back from that and she denounced it. So she hopped on that little hype train to make sure that, you know, she fed her audience what she thought that they may want to hear for the monetary gain. No different from Paris. Paris wasn't like that in the beginning when she came on board. When she, when she came on board. No, they said was, that um a black man helped Chrissy like do her shit, like her business deals and everything. Like that black men were the one and Cynthia G, right? That they were the ones, but then you know. Yeah. But and, I don't know. You uh, know, maybe they got tired of being attacked and they turned on black men. I don't know. You know, the men are not innocent out here either. You know, let's be honest. Not, not, and not, they are not, the not, reason not, why a lot of these women are out here woo banging in these streets and fighting. No, that no, no. The the men, the men are not like. But it's been so many. Just like with the the biracial uh, women, it's been so many black men that's tried to uplift some of these women, and I mean from R and B to everything that you can possibly think of to try to put um, certain uh, women within my community on a pedestal, and it was not good enough because they wanted to be validated globally. Being validated from a black man was not good enough. I want to be validated by these white men. I want to be validated by the Asian men. I want to be in the same pedestal that I perceive that white women and mixed women to be on that pedestal. So a lot of it was the same projection that they projected onto black men that they projected onto mixed race women. Because I've seen... I mean, yeah, they put us together. Yeah, I've seen multiple black men go out their way to tell, listen, we're not colorists. See, I don't know that may or may not be true because... You know, the majority of black women are attracted mostly to black men. It's, you know, everybody knows that. So I do think it really, mm-hmm. you know, stemmed from that kind of divide there. Um, and then I think that they started to open their minds to divestment. I don't think the divestment was like the goal. Um, but I could be wrong, you know? Yeah, they like, wouldn't be mad. They wouldn't be mad that black men are dating like white women or the Latinas or the biracial women or the, you know, mix, whatever. Like they wouldn't be mad about that if they didn't want them, if they didn't feel like it was some loss of some sort. And they've talked about that. Like they, they, they're like, no, it is a loss. And we kind of feel like there are men, which is natural because majority of monoracial people, they date other monoracial people. Like, yeah. Is there a bunch of interracial dating? It's not number one or two or three. So yeah, I get how they would feel that way. Majority of so black that's why people. I don't think that it really comes from like actual hate. 
No, it does. And I'll tell you why. It comes because, like I said, they think they want to be on a perceived pedestal and be validated globally that they feel that white women are validated. They want the Ellie magazines. They want the Vogue magazine. Mm -hmm. I they see a lot of dark skin women on early magazines. They want the Victoria's yeah. Secret runway. They're working their way up there, though. It has nothing Hold to on, do with I, I guess I got to say this one more time for the people in the back that didn't hear it the first time. You are not welcome on my channel, Hybrid. Beat it. Kick rocks. <laughs> Such a fucking okay, man. go ahead, y'all. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm saying. A majority of black men are with black women. It was it was never about that from the jump. It was straight jealousy because some of them too, they want like they project their own insecurities onto black men and uh multiracial women because in reality they want to date the white men, they want to date the other races of men. But the other races of men, in some cases, they may date a black women. In a lot of cases, they're not feeling them like that. So black that men, black men ain't innocent. I don't even know if it's about them not feeling them like that, as, as opposed to it being like a cultural difference type of thing. Because a yeah. lot of white men also aren't dating Latinas. So you um, know what I mean? Like there's there some that's that the one, also comes yeah, that's the play. one talking point that I don't agree with is just exactly. kind of letting the black men off the hook. Everybody like, knows that desirable. You know, they yeah. have disrespected black women, and that's why this backlash has came upon us. No, right. no, no. no. I feel like from an outsider's perspective, no. like well, I guess like halfway outsider's perspective. I have seen black men and black women disrespect each other and they, they still are to this day. So when it comes to y'all's beef, like between black women and black men, I ain't got no dog in that fight. I don't know nothing about that. I'm not asking that. anybody to have any. Uh, the only thing I'm saying is that you don't think black men may react the same way multiracial uh, women are reacting? From years of uh, from years of um, I don't think it's the same experience at all because we never we I, first of all stop pretending like black men let black women talk shit for like twenty fucking first of all when we say it's only been ten years we're just talking about internet in real fucking life it's been like fucking fifty years <laughs> they've been talking shit. And we submitted, we submitted to that. Don't even pretend as if black men submitted to black women. No, they fucking haven't. First of all, black men are known as like one of the most masculine race of men. First of all, like maybe not the new age, but at least the old school. So no, 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 no. It's not the same experience at all. But there are some things that I can, you know, relate to what you're talking to. Like I said earlier, I said, I do think that they put black men with mixed women because they they think that most black men are dating mixed women number one also a lot of biracial people when they are of some black mixed usually the father is mixed like that is the majority so that's the link between the two but outside of that i ain't got no dog in that fight you know what i'm saying but i will say like from an outsider's perspective no it's not we do not fully have the same experience as far as that goes like no, I'm just i didn't that. i didn't see black men submit to shit they've never yeah, submitted April says black men have women. been awful to black women especially dark-skinned women and i think that's true as that well is. and that's why yeah like we're not going to mm -hmm. like sit up here and pretend like we know that all this shit came from a reason but at the end of the day it's not a good enough reason to turn on other women we as women should be supporting each other and not turning on each other like a bunch of I fucking pygmishas for men so there's enough men for i'm gonna be i'm gonna be here. real yeah, i'm gonna question. be 100 yeah, percent real with you 18th letter a lot of multiracial women and exotical women have taken these fuck we have been the ex fucking scapegoat because of you guys that not you lot. per se I mean, but black men per no black men per se I mean, because not. i do believe black women in their experience when they talk about how it was black men doing this it was black men doing that and then they were uplifting light skinned women you just said it like 5 minutes ago about how Black men with uplift, you know, mixed race women. I or literally whatever. just went on I've a black man's it. panel. Come on, I just went on a I've black man's it. panel this week, and the first thing he said when I got up there, we commented on my skin tone, and he said, "If it ain't light, it ain't right." These things. Mm -hmm. This is a reality. Eighteenth uh, letter. Right. You know, it's this a is a reality. reality. So we know. We you know. know. There's no yeah. argument. It is a reality because you've been hearing in the rap music. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear red. Exactly. Black. So we have became the scapegoat of that because when you pedestalize 
a person like they're an object, they become the object of people's hatred. And that's why we are even here in the first place. You get what I'm saying? Because that, there's no fucking why, way. That's why what um, Gigi was talking about, their, like their energy is more, I do think their energy is really more focused on biracial, biracial women, particularly versus whatever MGM or Belasian because. Absolutely. Let's be honest. Let me, let me, let me respond to this. We are the number one white. Yeah. Let, let me yeah. respond to this real quickly. Have you noticed the hypocrisy and choices. If a multiracial woman dates a white man, she becomes, oh, she she's a black woman. If a multiracial woman is with a black man, then she's that light-skinned bitch coming from these women. Nobody oh, no. noticed that hypocrisy? Majority no. of black men, a majority no, of black women are talking against about. black women. Right. I'm I'm saying I'm saying to their responses, majority, it's not enough biracial women to go around for all of these black men to be dating all of these uh uh multiracial women. M most of us grow up with black women. I've seen black men change their whole image and persona to try to get a black woman. So I'm telling you from the perspective of a black man that actually lived that, that a lot of this stuff is a fallacy, a lot of it is a lie, and a lot of it is based off of their own insecurity. Do we have colorist black men? Yes. No different than you have colorist Indian men that don't date other dark skin um Indian women or, or try to date the lighter class of Indian women. No different than we have um white men who put uh white women with European features or somebody close to it on, on the pedestal on their magazine. I'm gonna be real. I when it comes to colorism, I believe in some aspects of colorism, but as far as preference, that is not colorism and it never will be colorism. If somebody mm -hmm. wants to date out, that is not colorism. As a mixed person, all I know is interracial dating, interracial relationship. That is what I was mm -hmm. born into. So for me, that's normal. Um, for other people, they feel some type of way about it, but that doesn't mean that's not colorism at all. 18, you don't mm -hmm. think the color of black men are more prominent than the ones who are not? There's more and more in the media, the culture than the ones that's not. No, I think when people take celebrities and they try to make that the majority of people, then that's what people get their perspective from. But like celebrities have, do have an influence. Celebrities you have do have an influence. You have they all folks. have an influence. Wayne and all of them got influence. Yeah, Wayne and them got I'm trying influence. to remember what channel that was. I followed um but you, but I you followed know, Empress Janet to a channel. I can't remember what the name of the channel is. They were all nice over there or whatever, but you know, it was just a, a it, it but was you know a good they, point to prove, though. And I was like, oh, man, they're going to clip this and they're going to be like, oh, she was on the panel with some colorist black men. I'm trying to remember the name of that. I can't remember the name of the channel. I'll figure it out later. But yeah, I mean, it is a thing. That's the thing, though. I feel like AC Letter, when we have these debates, is that like I can't come out here and sit here and cape for the mixed race people that are out here being ridiculous that's why they're blocked from my fucking channel okay uh the ones that are racist or the ones that are colors that's why they're blocked from my fucking channel mm -hmm. like we can't throw on the cape for the people that are doing the wrong in our communities you know what i mean yeah like, we, like, can't, we stay can't our cape for the only go so far I exactly for us go on the cape for because the we are, I don't, are I don't held to a higher standard I don't associate with those type of men. For the most part, the black men that you would see me around, and the black man that you would that you would see me on. No, no, we we know that. We know that because we, we know that you're like you're cool. You know what I'm saying? We know that. But what you're not understanding is, even if you had like a live stream, right? And oh, a complete fucking villain from your own community was <laughs> up there for however long, you would not be crucified the same way someone who is like mixed or etc and i think that that's the point of just proving like we have two different experiences i think that you know there's really fucking hard shit that every race of people go through and we have our own shit like that if we just can't move certain ways black people talk about it all the time they're like oh yeah we can't talk in aav uh to get the job we gotta uh, you know what i'm saying like yeah that's that fucking sucks and it's a fucking inconvenience right same thing over here same thing over here. We can't just we can't just support all the fuck shit. We can't. Man, Not I saying don't... that we want to, but we can't even accidentally like someone hits the link we don't know, and they come up here on some bullshit. They clip it, and they're like, "See, we told you they're fucking racist." 
which so, is crazy because black people aren't question. supposed to be racist. Let, let me ask you a question. Be. So if a black man falls in love with a with a um non-black woman, is he automatically colorist? No, no, no. My no. Is not. See, see, that's the narrative that's always where good. mixed race people are obviously <laughs> open to to you know. But it's, um, it's not even about it's not even about that. It's about the image. The image is what pisses people off. It doesn't matter if he's not colorist. He could have dated dark skinned women. He could have dated. Uh, he could have been in, involved with multiple relationships. When people, see but how it, does that it, make? You, I want to know how does that make you feel that if you were to fall in love with somebody who is not a black woman, someone of another race, and then you were judged for that and say you had a family with her. Like, how does that make you feel? It, it makes me feel the same way y'all been feeling. That's where, that's the parallel that I've been making because you- And, that, and that's my point, but like, is. imagine having a child with her and then your child grows up in said world. You know what I mean? Like you're aware of it, but say you were a parent that wasn't aware of it. And this kid is just having to like, navigate through this with like no real I'm actual tell y'all, I'm tell y'all something. Guys. There's plenty of black men that date all different races of women. It doesn't mean that they're colors. But the point is is that mm-hmm. the ones that are, it's always like the people that are wrong that are the loudest in the room. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that type of situation. Look at Kobe Bryant. Look at Kobe Bryant. Like Kobe Bryant. He's talking about stereotypes. Kobe Bryant never said anything negative about black women. They just they they laughed at that man after he passed away. Because of the fact that he was dating, that he was married to Vanessa, he never said Who? nothing negative. Kobe Bryant, oh. he never said anything negative about nobody. That man, that man, peace. that man passed away with his daughter, and these women laughed at him and and laughed at this. This what I'm talking. This is the same evil that y'all been dealing with. Don't you think they're the minority? Do you think they're the minority or the majority? Because you, you know most the, of them. You think they're the minority when they talking to mixed race people? No. <laughs> oh, it's a mess, y'all. You see what I'm saying? Like mixed mixed people just got just pulled into the bullshit is what it is. So that's the point that we're trying to make. And it's jealousy is jealousy. It's not like we've been, I've been the scapegoat for plenty. Like I've been the scapegoat for plenty of stuff. That uh, you know, so I'm 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 telling you that is jealousy, and I'm not making no excuses for anybody. Do we have colorists? Yes, we live in a very racist, colorist society. We live in America. You know, I don't I don't know how anybody else identifies, but my people was brought here as slaves in America. So yes, you're gonna have colorism when you're under um, a system that wasn't created for you, that was created uh, to um, for for to to um enhance the standard of another group of people and you're growing up that system you're going to have people that are affected mentally subconsciously especially when it's in the education the media the images that you see you're gonna have, that's any any group that where is uh colonization look at the indians mm-hmm. like any group look at the age the ages get the the eyelid surgery to make their eyes look oh. more western <laughs> so like we're not come on just the double yeah you know everybody always acts like they act like it's just like the black community it's not you know the colorism the features and the texture it's worldwide you know it's the indians it's the asians yeah Yeah. it's 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 just america yeah everybody i mean every Mm -hmm. fucking body And, and let me explain something like for instance when when a when a black guy is dating um um a white girl and everything like that Let's say like he's dealing with the same type of women that y'all say are bullying the multiracial community. So he he grows up, uh, niggas ain't shit. I hate niggas. These <laughs> niggas, these are so and you know what it's all gonna take after hearing years of that. You know what it's gonna take for that white girl or that non-black girl to come along for him to date her? Hi, Jamal. <laughs> you know the, I feel like the major know, difference Rakim, between if- Hold on, lovely mix wants to know, Rakim, if you've dated biracial or mixed race women. I've dated one biracial woman, yes. Not one. So typically, you date, you do date black <laughs> women more. Yes. I've, okay. I've, okay. I've, I've, I've was around black women. I've dated one. Well, I took two technically. One was black and Italian. That's when I was living in Iowa. And another one. Then isn't that biracial? 
Yes, that's what I'm, what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Let me, let me get to the second one. The second one, I don't know if you would classify her as biracial. Her grandmother was a um, Choctaw Indian. Not not Choctaw, a uh, Ho-Chunk Indian. So she mm -hmm. looked it like... GM. Yeah, you can say that because she had those features and different things like that. But other than that, but besides them, um, I've dated dark-skinned women. My first crush was a dark-skinned girl. Hell, my first Aww. crush growing up was Foxy Brown. Like, I love Foxy Brown. Mm -hmm. Like people don't be like they try to make us out to be like we just colorist monsters and we just abuse and all of this other stuff. It's the same narrative that they paint for other people. I'm not saying you have a dog in this fight. I'm not saying I have a dog in y'all fight. The only thing I'm saying is that when you're dealing with jealous, insecure people, they're going to paint a false narratives on those types of people just to hide their own insecurities. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you think I a lot agree. of this is just YouTube bullshit? No, um, so, well, no, some of it is no, not. It's, it's, it's real life stuff, funny. dude. Really I mean, it's it's real, real life funny. stuff, dude. It's just let, let, let me respond. But people are just people like are very, very comfortable to be evil and nasty online, though. Is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Some of it could be um spread out to real life because don't act like young people are not sitting here listening to all of this. But see, here's the thing. YouTube is where people can say their deepest, darkest thoughts without mm -hmm. actually having to deal with the consequences in real life. They can yeah. say how they truly feel. So it's no such thing as just YouTube because most people, YouTube is television now. So most people are getting their ideas and <laughs> the way really that they is. think from YouTube. Yeah. And they and they, and they do it on TikTok. They do it on Instagram. They do you it control. on you control anonymously. I, you know no, what? And me and Gigi yeah. say that all the time. We used to be like, "Yeah, you." A third world like TV. It's, third it's world. like where you where people come and get, they world. get their up, main bro. news source, and it's been like that for a few years now. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's. But like to act like that, it's a lot of these brothers out here that's just doing this, or just like act like it's not. It's not that. That's not the case. Hi, third ward. I see plenty of brothers put dark skinned women on a pedestal and it fell on deaf ears. And a lot of the men, yeah, I've really seen that too. Facts and his mercy. And that's why I say too, when I see some of these channels and they're coming out and they talking they shit or whatever, you know, people move differently out here on these YouTube streets. But when you are behind an avatar, I mean, let's be honest, you are more free to talk your shit <laughs> and to be a little bit more spicy. But like, there are real life consequences. This, this YouTube is real life. These people do get obsessed. Mm -hmm. These oh, no, people do know. try to destroy you. Mm -hmm. These people will try to hurt you. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you know, everybody should take that into account when you make these YouTube channels because you can be doxxed. Gigi, let me just say this really quickly. You and Multi are spicy, right? Y'all, y'all are spicy, but y'all like what I mean by no. Listen to what I'm saying. Y'all spicy, but y'all have decorum. Y'all have respect. Mm -hmm. Some of these people on here just fucking evil. This yeah, absolutely. Evil. This is just evil. Yeah. Like the, some of the stuff that I heard them say, like cert, heard people say about uh, multi uh, racial uh, biracial women or black men or vice versa has just been fucking evil. It's been evil. It's like something is in your dark soul that made you think like this, and you you're consumed. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with like a racist anybody. Like some of these people, and then some people want to be more on on the internet than what they are in real life. Can I give you a, can I give you an example? We talk about lipstick alley where it's basically we don't know who who be who be writing all of these things on Lipstick Alley. Can you take like a young person, like a little naive, little mixed, light-skinned girl, and she hear, she's seeing all of this, and she probably think, damn, dark-skinned women really do hate me. Yeah, looking at the content, yeah, they would think that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Lovely Mix says, so why do dark-skinned black women complain about black men are not checking for them? Their nasty attitudes. Their okay. nasty attitudes the way that they carry themselves, how rude and disrespectful they can be. You can go oh, up and, and, and and this is not all women. So let's not, because some people don't go outside. This is not all women. But hey, certainly, Taylor, I, have met, I have met all types of women that got nasty attitude. Ain't just black women. 
I'm just talking about from my experience and from a lot of other brothers like me, Irving. That's all. Yeah. It's been, it's, and I've seen it growing up. I've seen it all throughout high school, grammar school, high school. I've seen it. This is not all, but it's always the men that ain't checking for them that they never wanted to begin with. Those are the men that's that they claim that's not checking for them. After they choose whatever choice of men that they want, and then those men that they never wanted, let's say he's a professional, he may be a lame or whatever. If it's a non-black woman that decide to date him, then all of a sudden, oh, all these niggas out here date mixed race women or white women and all of that. When those was niggas you was never checking for to begin with. So like it's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy. In his mercy, said you're the reason why unambiguous dark skinned black women hate us, though. <laughs> so now, okay, now, so now I'm the scapegoat, like, like y'all the scapegoat. Oh, not you, the scapegoat. Um, yeah, you can join the panel. Um, uh, I'm a little bit worried that you might be a troll because I don't know you. Um, let me see. Do I have something to throw up? The the link is pinned. Let me see if I can find a way to cover before you talk, just to make sure you're not a troll. But yeah, the uh, the link is open for everybody. Queen, you can come up too. Everybody can come up. Anybody can come up. We're just gonna rock out for a couple more minutes or whatever. How am I the reason that? Oh my! And and I, and I didn't make. I, <sighs> I'm pretty sure I didn't pinpoint it and explain things in a logical perspective. Blunt mover. I came to your channel. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay, come on up. Come on up. Blunt mover. I'm trying to remember. I I've been to a lot of channels, you know. I be you know, out here moving around these YouTube person. streets. Huh? I was happy. Like, I was just gonna say I'm happy that and, the skills are ten. And another thing years. too, you notice how they yeah. never um they never promote a lot of the times they don't promote the celebrities that are with that are black couples in the media. They don't promote that. What about Gabrielle Union and um what's his name? Dwayne Wade. Wade. Yeah, that's yeah, but Gabriel Union was complaining about colorism not that long ago. I think um Samuel Jackson. First of all, the left Wade loves them. them. They promote the fuck out of them. I ain't I barely see him. He has like a trans son and stuff. They love him. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that's that's the reason. I just saw his new uh uh, Come up, Blunt Mover. Space Jam movie. Gigi, it, 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 it's his fault because unambiguous dark skinned black women want him so bad. <laughs> Listen to oh what period. Saying. Just give them Our, what they want. They, they never Just let give it we, to them. We, we never went nowhere. They've always, I'm going to tell you something. I oh, know. We like you too. <laughs> no, like, here, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you something real quick. A lot of, a lot okay, of, okay, Blunt Mover. A lot of these women feel like they get mad. Really, I'm gonna tell you the the God to honest truth. They'll get mad if they see a black man with a non black woman, because in reality, Gigi didn't already cover this. They want those same options to date white men. Exotical United didn't cover this. They really want to date white men. They try to they try to project their insecurity oh, onto oh. us, but a lot of them really want. You've seen oh, yeah. it with the. But Come then on. why do they try to beat me up on account of you? <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe the majority of black women want white men. I do not believe that. I don't believe that either. Mm -hmm. I believe that wow. the majority of unambiguous dark skinned black women want the same man that I want. That one. Oh. <laughs> so, so I, I, I can't, you can't see my arrow pointing at him, but his, but his deep ass voice sounds good as shit. But they want the same man I want. They don't want fairness. They want their turn. They don't want to end the hierarchy. They want to be at the top of the totem pole. They don't give a fuck about you. That's why we don't got to give a fuck about them. I just but said. At the end of the day, the truth said. of the matter is, is they want the same man that I want. And they're just Gigi, mad he said there's no link. I don't think it's about white men at all. I think it's about black men. I think that, yeah, they want it. They want it. Black. Like, just historically, it's proven that. Wait, hold on one second, you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry Multi. Sorry, sorry, Multi. One second. Is this Queen that came up? I want to make sure. Yeah. Oh, your sound's messed up. Um, go down and come back in, honey. Okay. 
Um, Blunt Mover, the link is pinned to the top. Go ahead, Multi. What were you saying? Oh, I was just, I think I finished. I was just saying that um, pretty much I feel like Black women tried with Black men first, just historically speaking. But I'm not going to go all into that because, like, I don't care. But, like, my opinion, still my opinion, I think that they do want Black men still. And they tried with Black men first. And that's why there's such a fuss about it because they're not gonna complain about something that they don't feel is a loss. Just like when they complain about biracial mix and you know, MGM and exotical women, uh, they are complaining about things that they feel like either should have been theirs or was a loss. So, so I can recognize that, but that, that of- it's, listen, listen, when I'm saying that, that does not mean that it is your fault or black men's fault, but that's just how they feel. Period. Let me let, let me just break this down really quickly. First of all, yeah, foremost, really quickly because Queen just came up and she hasn't had a chance to speak yet. Like that's that's not true. Um, a lot of these, the 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 mentality and effect on what our history has done to black women. People always talk about self hate about black men. They never study the self hate with the women. A lot of them because black a uh, white men have been looked at as the top tier <clears> men <throat> resources established different things like that a lot of them secretly desire that as well i'm not saying all but i'm saying it is a significant amount of women that in in my community that does that but since black men are painted out to be the evil ones a lot of that get projected onto us when, when, when they know they can't they can do that and then but secretly they we've seen it with the divestors we've seen it with the swirlers we've seen all of this stuff we've seen them wanting to have these mixed race women that they are jealous of so what what okay. so come down well, divestors never really divest okay. like honestly that's because they don't have the option to they they <laughs> they don't <laughs> you got to finish your point so queen can talk Sorry. that's it that's all i got so i can respond to that too my bad guys <laughs> You're good. Go ahead, Queen. How you doing, honey? Thanks for hitting the link. Oh no, worries. Thanks for having me up. Of you came course. Up here to chew me out, Queen. You came up here to chew me out, huh? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. You I'm already not know. Even, I'm not even fist to go there with you because you know you We're here for it. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm my here God. for it too, sis. Huh? I'm here for it too. <laughs> black women want black men. Period. Right. Black men don't like themselves and they don't like black women. That is not true. Don't tell me what's not true. Because I've been married for 20 years to a black man and I observe the things that go on on these social media streets and these conversations y'all have. Y'all glorify light skinned, biracial, and women that don't look like they have two black parents. Y'all glorify that and tell black women they ugly. You tell black women that they hate themselves because they put weave in their head. But you go and you talk about how you like when the women that have a looser curl pattern can throw their hair around in the swimming pool and all this stuff, thereby creating an insecurity in black women. That is not and true. then when they go out and they try to mimic what y'all say y'all like, y'all degrade them for it. So it comes off is y'all don't like us. And then the ones of y'all that do marry, date, and procreate outside of the race, y'all don't even identify your children as black. So we're sitting where here looking you, at this. Where are you getting all of this stuff from? I'm watching it. You say what do you mean? So that's what, I'm that's watching it. Personal experience? I have sat here and watched this over the years. I've been married a long time, so I ain't been in the dating game. I just get to sit back and observe so and watch and, you, so, so and see what's say. going on. So and I'm looking at these black men. Things. You was able to get a black man, but a majority of black men are not with black women. Who said that? You keep That's what you're saying. That is not what I said. I said exactly what came out of my mouth, and what came out of my mouth was not what you just said. Ah uh, man, y'all live in a fantasy world, man. No, we don't live in a fantasy world. Just like uh, Golden Goddess just said, she went to a panel, and the first thing that was commented on was the tone of her skin. There yeah. is a panel I visit. Matter of fact, I think the first time I had a conversation with you on that particular panel, that panel host consistently talks about how he wants him a biracial woman. 
Like, we not finna sit up here and act like y'all don't act like black women ain't shit. Then what came out your mouth on this panel was uh, dark-skinned black women got attitudes. What the hell is you talking about? I went to school with all kinds of women. All girls. I ain't done. See, look how you mean, wait, she's not talking to you no kind of way. She's just giving you her opinion. Women of all races have attitudes, but y'all want to take dark skinned black women and put them in some type of category like they the worst or the worst or something. And you want to sit up here and tell me that that's not a form of self hate? It is because they not no worse than some of these other women. But when it's a Latino, oh, she's spicy. When it's a uh uh somebody so anybody else y'all got all these terms y'all want to use for everybody that ain't black but when a when it's a black woman it's such a horrible you, thing you do know spicy did not come from black men right i don't give a damn where it came that, from y'all use it that came from Cynthia, like, you know, and that's kind of offensive because i am kind of spicy like that didn't come from, we didn't create None of these let terms. me say hi to Blunt Mover. Hold on, hold on. Let me say hi to Blunt Mover. Hey, Blunt Mover, thank you for hitting the link. How are you? All right, pretty good. How you doing, Golden? Yeah, good. I'm, I I really can't remember where I met you at, but I'm a I don't guy. know. Maybe that'll do it. Okay, let me see. Remember me? Ooh. Oh, did you change your Ooh. name? Um, Hater Terminator and Blunt Mover. Are my only two. Oh, okay. Good to see you. It's been a while. I haven't um got your notification in a in a minute. And good evening to you. Respectfully. Good evening to you. Hi. So you remember me now? I'm not a troll. I do. I do. Welcome. Did you want to add something to the conversation? I I I texted up that I felt like that was this was this was a pretty deep conversation, and I almost feel like compelled to join. So I, I'm I'm just I'm just feeling my way out. First time here, first time to you live. I noticed you on. I said, let me go, you know, drop by. You know, same way. You I do. appreciate it. Thank you. That's, that's I just want to say, Marquise. I'm sorry. I can only have six people up right now. I will definitely get you up though. Um, as soon as somebody drops. Sorry, because I do want you on as well. Marquise definitely has a lot to say about Actually, this topic. I know. I have to drop down because my device is dying, but I oh. love being here. Um, oh, okay. I cannot wait to catch the rest of this playback, though. Thank you, Multi. Of course. This is fun. All right. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Multi. Yeah, multi with a honey pot behind say. it. A honey. Multi, multi with might, a honey pot emoji. Multi, I might have an R&B stream coming up later, man. Or you, you can join if you would like to. Oh, I'm going to come. I love R&B. But yeah. All right. Um, what I know right, this, 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 this because the, the colorism conversation was strange to me. Like my I grew up in a family, we all kind of shades of black. And it was never an issue whether you was dark skin, light skin, you was just we was just all black. So to become an adult and see these type of conversations, it was strange to me. And so I was observing, and yeah, a lot of this vitriol that y'all get from these women. It's coming from what these women is getting from these men. That's a lie, man. That no, it's not a lie. lie. You can't tell me what's a lie. Are you a woman, you, sir? You, you, you don't you, live a woman's a experience. Are you a man? Do you live a man? You don't experience? live a woman's experience. Therefore, you can't tell me what is a lie. I'm listening and looking at these niggas sit up here and tell these black women that they that ain't is, shit. That and it's not only in conversations on social media, it's also in the music. It's also in the videos. We can so go I, back. I, I, when oh, video okay. first started, and when you see the women that's up there, they not black women. What are you talking about? In the nineties, it was plenty of dark skinned women. In the early, I want you to go back and revisit them. Go back and look at their videos. Look at Tyree, sweet lady. Who was who's the go love back and there? look at all them videos? Don't pull out no one they, or two they, videos. Look at Mike most Kim. of the videos. The women are Kim. not Kim. black yeah, women. They are biracial. They are ambiguous. They are non black. Stop playing with me. Yo, yo, your opinion is your opinion. Man. No, my, my facts are my facts. No, and you, you can go look right up the and video and it can prove it to you. Because ain't nobody got the lie to you. Y'all have a, a, a illusion about the way y'all act and the way y'all show up in the world. Y'all mistreat black women. In, in a 
in response to the biracial thing, a lot of this hate y'all get from these women, they getting it from these men because these men create insecurities in these women. No, these men no, ain't that's, no not insecure. True. that's a lie. You know what's crazy? The guys who actually do like these women, y'all, them the ones y'all ignore. Like, though, it's, it's so many guys that try to talk to girls, and y'all completely ignore those guys, but y'all want these small percentage of who men. Who are these guys? Well, you're not, like, women, like, they, they seek the attention. Who are these guys? Go get them. Most of these women seek the attention of a small amount of men. Most men like just about Go every type of woman men. there is. That's the crazy thing about it. Go get it. And em. the thing that you're just saying, I we, we actually had the same stalker, remember? Go get it. Like, she kept harassing me about, oh, I don't like her because of skin tone. First of all, I'm married. So that's probably one reason I don't like you. But it's like women. Well, let's be, let's be like, respectful. We can have different opinions and be respectful. But I'm, I'm just saying, Go women have this, this thing in their head where they make these insecurities up themselves and then they project it to everybody else. Men are very <laughs> accepting of just about everybody. You could be purple and a man's going to like you. I, like, I don't know where they get the skin tone this thing from. Sit up here and say that the black, big, black women don't have black men because black women have bad attitudes. Like, get I, the I, fuck I, out I'm going to be honest. I, I've dated a lot of different women around the world. I mean, I've, I've I don't shown think that. there would be issues between the women if it wasn't a man in between. I, it's just not because they're just like, oh, we're jealous of your skin or you're this or you're that. Like, it's because it's, it's for sexual competition, you know? It's for competition in the dating market. But Let me explain Gigi, something it, real quick, Gigi. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When it's not based on men. Well, it's usually always based on men, though. That's the point no, that I'm making. Right. Not, Gigi. It's, val it's when, when you want global validation. Is that based on, like, for instance... But Let's nobody about, gives global validation. Nobody. White men give global validation because they own all of the production for what's the image, what's the standard of beauty. And that's what a lot of these women want. It really has nothing to do with a lot of black men because we don't, it was black men that helped create Essence magazine, black men helped create Sister to Sister magazine, all of these different, all of these different magazine public jet magazine, all of these different publications for black women to put to put black women um image out there even before prior to what you say with the light skin uh models and soup and rap videos they used to have dark skinned women all through through rap videos yeah i remember them the days interest they was the love interest on tv shows Tip how many days. people was chasing after brandy how many people was chasing after um these different singers that was just unambiguous black women Lauren Hill. Lauren yeah, Hill. Men don't care about skin tone. We really don't. Like they like so we gonna Lauren sit up Hill, here and just Foxy create this Brown, narrative. Just some badass chicks in the nineties. Lil Kim. Lil Kim is unambiguous. Ain't nothing Lil mixed Kim about is Lil unambiguous Kim. now. And Lil Kim was also Lil black. Kim also said that she got plastic surgery because all of the men that she was with always yeah. wanted light skin and mixed women. She literally said that. She did say that and cause she used to say that she wanted to be Malibu Barbie because they was always talking about light skin um uh, women with looser curl patterns. Like they y'all not finna sit up here and guess like I ain't never heard a man talk like that. No, My but it's did true that because too. she didn't want the Tori to play her because she was dark skinned because she didn't want to be portrayed as dark skinned because she felt bad about being dark skinned. That's a fact. You can't deny that. I've been a man most of my life, bro. I've never heard any man talk like that. Most, most of your life, bro? That's questionable. Yeah, because I've been a boy. I was a boy before I was a man. So <laughs> you know, you're, you not, you're not born into adulthood. To a non-black woman. You sure as hell still born a male, though. <laughs> I mean, but you're not born an adult. But you're still but, born a man. Yes, yes, yes. That's kind of logical there. So don't. <laughs> You scared me with the alphabet. I mean, yeah. I feel like it wasn't even just with mixed women. I feel like it kind of trickled down to us because it was a thing at one point where it was like, and I would even hear them say it, where it was like, oh, we ain't going to deal with this bullshit. We're just going to get a white chick or whatever. Like, you know, they're going to put up with our shit type shit. So, I mean, these are things that men have said. So I can understand that you as a man saying, hey, I don't think this way. I don't feel this way. But can you really speak for the collective of men? You know what I mean? Yes. That's a question. Yeah. Yes, like I can because I've, I've known a lot of men most of my life. Um, men Ain't generally like was different. To black woman? Men generally like was different. Like if, if they're used to seeing black women all the time, they're probably gonna like something different. Just like Italian men. Ain't when I go overseas, Italian men woman. love dark skinned women because it's something different huh? to them. You kind of just. I like how them. you don't answer that question. Answer what question? Ain't you married to a non-black woman? So I was married to two black women before this one. 
No, no, no. That ain't my question. You married to a non-black woman, correct? Well, I live in South Florida. It's kind of how we look at yeah. Not going to answer the question. Right. <laughs> because you <laughs> really good shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So if a man, if a black man date or marry any non-black woman that makes him self-hating, but nobody ever brings up Maya Angelou or any of these other women Who that said are he was self-hating? Why are you, why are you throwing out stuff that I'm not yeah. saying? You just said that earlier. You said a lot. Did I, I ask him was he married to a non-black woman? I didn't say that man hated himself. That's what you were saying earlier about black. No, women. we did. You, you need to that? repeat what I said earlier and ask a proper question. See what? See you see the disrespect. You don't and just you get to take like, anything I say and throw it against the wall when you feel like it. You need no, to put it in proper context. What you saying, lady? You living in a virtual reality? No, That's, I'm living yeah, in a real yeah, reality. You reality. need to put conversation <laughs> in proper context if you're going to have a conversation. Not pull something out your ass and then decide you're going to say something. See, about now you cursing at me? Okay. So now, yeah, so I'll, this is what I'll, this. I'll, thank you for proving me right. I'll, I'll, I'll say I, I don't, I don't know. Say. I think it's getting a little bit too sensitive. I mean, she's not like calling you names or anything. She's you know even, what I mean? Like, not even that's letting just you gaslighting speak because he she, know he full of bullshit. He can't form I mean, a proper she's question. Not even, she's and not even letting me speak. Putting it proper because you see, he's put words in my mouth several times. I just think as a biracial woman, as a biracial woman who is light skinned. I have heard black men say these type of things. So that's the only reason why I push back against y'all's talking points is because I've heard it myself, you know? Wait, so, undo like something. I said, that doesn't mean I everybody who dates interracially is like that. There's men they that date all types of women. Let me, let me ask you I've something heard these men say, what is What is biracial women's experiences with white men? Do white men date biracial women because they feel like they're closer to white no. men exist, um, or and they are, women because they like them. Yeah, Except black men, much. black men date everybody because they self hate. No them. black men date women because they, they, they like them. Date because they like them. <laughs> well, they you also know. date, you know, biracial or black <laughs> women, like Marquis said, because they might be used to one thing, and so you know, anything different would be interesting. They want to try, right? You know, it's the same thing as far as that. But couldn't it be because they just like them? No, you got it. No, you self hate. Like Gigi, that like, is, like, but okay, that's the say, thing. You say you're you you say you're a light skinned biracial, right? So wouldn't somebody who dates you could be dating you because they like you, as opposed to your skin tone or your phenotype? No. Nah. Not yes, and that, but that's the reason why I'm making this point is because when white men approach me or when I have dated white, they never bring up my skin color. So that's why, um, that's why it looks that way when black men do. You understand? Because I guess because we speak about it. You know what I mean? That's the thing. A lot of these dudes, they're not dating this woman just because they like her. See, it's see, her phenotype see? that they're interested <laughs> in because they <laughs> make that a focal point. Damn, I thought I was talking. You've been talking because all the time since you got up they here. Made you know, they made that a... Let nobody else speak. They make that a... They make that a a focal point of the conversation. If you like this person because you like this person, why are you talking about their racial makeup? It don't right. make any I, sense. I think about that and just thing. because one thing can be true doesn't mean another thing can be true. So just because this may be true that some black men do talk like this or behave like this, it still doesn't excuse black women mistreating mixed or white skinned women because of it. So two things can be, you know, true at once. Facts. Man, I like how black men black see that's the thing. Black men could be used as a scapegoat because it ain't no consequences. That's why everybody feels so comfortable. Well, this, well women don't think they have a scale of beauty, so yeah, like it like it's 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 crazy, man. And like the funny thing is, most of the black men that I know, they don't have it. Like you can tell, you can spot a self-hating person. Most of the black men I know, they don't have no self-hate issues. We are very highly influential. It's a lot of people that try to emu em emulate us as men. We carry ourselves with pride. We carry ourselves with dignity. We lay back. We're the epitome of cool. What do we need to have self-hate issues for? A lot, a lot of us, a lot of us don't. And you have certain women that are interested in black men. I don't use those talking points, though. I don't go around calling people self-hating because they interracially date. So, you know. I don't appreciate how I don't know, but one one really good question for, for you, sir, like, would be like, why do like, your why does your counterpart feel that way about you as a group? 
That's because like, they've, been, yeah. they've been brainwashed into thinking that way. Between well, femin between feminist you studies. You think about it. You just nobody spoke. nobody tells any other race, any other culture, any other male culture race what they whom they should be with, what they should be doing, and what's that's right. That's not true. I, I'm Puerto Rican. We tell Puerto Ricans. Yeah, that's Rican. definitely not true. Uh, okay, yeah. I, lean, I, I, I lean with you on that a little bit. Yeah, they got. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, like I'm Indians, dead Asians, dead Asians dead. whites, dead. everybody. Tell me yeah. When I was growing up as a Puerto Rican in Puerto Rico, they used to tell me "mejor la raza." That means better your race. That means date somebody who's whiter than you are and procreate with them so that you can better your race. Right. So you understand, you race. understand what I'm saying? Like, we go through that too. It's not just you. Hey, no, happy. No, no, no. I, 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 and shout I, out to the waiting. island. I've been waiting in the comments oh, section. My bad, my bad, brother. Go ahead. Honestly. Yeah, go ahead. Because I've heard things from all of y'all and, you know, I, I, I agree and there's some things I disagree with and I, you know, I'm living that. Some of some what y'all talking about, I'm living it. And I've been with my lady for 25 years, right? And so, well, not five. We'll be five next year. But um, and it's a biracial relationship and all that, right? It's beautiful. So, yeah. It but is. hold on. What, you mean biracial? Oh, meaning it's a oh, white woman or biracial? Meaning it's a biracial woman. White woman. White woman. Yeah. Okay. You're okay. And 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 what before before judgments passed? Um, I've There's no judgment people. here. Yeah, we're they, not judging you. I'm just wondering: Are you black and she's white? Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm light skinned so my my dad was light skinned My mom was black. Yeah, she's white. Love, yeah. We love biracials over here. So okay, I, I, wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't. You know, I, again, I didn't know. I don't want to jump the gun on nothing. I don't know what you know what y'all really had going on in here, but I really just wanted to add to the fact that I've been in a relationship, a long lasting relationship, and it hasn't been based off our color, but we we get that energy, right? And so, but like, and we have children. I got two beautiful children. I wish you just did I wish this was earlier. I'd have brought them in here on y'all, like, here, have a look. But um I, no, 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 we don't I bring kids on YouTube. <laughs> that's dope. That's that's that <laughs> that's why I wrote what I wrote when I said um earlier about you know love is blind and who are we to appoint its destination um me i always play by my heart always and i i love women <laughs> women of all colors all right i love the spirit of love right if you don't get it then it's time to go you're not giving it see you later right and a lot of relations on the fast life shit freak nick all sorts i'm 50. Hmm? just turned to February. So, but at the end of the day, in the beginning of the next, I've, I've come to the conclusion and understanding that, you know what I'm saying? It's a spirit. People gonna love people, man. People love people. My mom's- Fred, is, is Fred do you love your wife because she's white or do you love your wife because of her personality, who she is as a woman? Who she is as a woman. Right, to so me, the, rest is, the, rest, the rest is a fucking moot point because you fell in love with her and married her, had children with her because not because she was a white I've, woman specifically, no. but because you loved her. No, I've been with Latin women, European women, white women, black women. No, she, it was her spirit, her spirit. But it was her, her specifically, like her as a woman, yeah. not her. Yes, her as a woman, her spirit. Yes, who she you is. You what I'm saying? What I'm trying to do is prove your point in a in a in a in a shorter, more concise way. The like, point you're saying is that you agree but, you you that that you that you know it's not about color or or, or no, race or or no, behavior it's, it's about the person it's not, it's not. now I would, I would i would rival anyone that would say so okay. and black men black men and white women couples get usually the most hate out yes. of all yeah. i would i would think so yeah so we definitely do not support that or promote that over here at all we are most of us are mixed race people over here um, but we're just talking about the dynamics, I guess, between black men and black women, because it ultimately it trickles down to biracial people. It's really not. It's not. It's not because of black men and black women. It's a lot of it has to. I do mean, though, biracial biracial kids do suffer the brunt of this bullshit, though. They oh, do. You mean, like you mean just from Our black men and black women? You mean just from interracial I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm MGM, right? I'm, 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 I'm so mixed, it's ridiculous. I can't even call out where I'm mixed from, right? But 
a biracial person who's black and white specifically, like, yo, they get the brunt of it because you're not white enough for the white community. You're not black enough for the black, black freaking fit in anywhere. It's like, a struggle you fit them. in life. You fit in life just that's like the, that. Oh, go ahead, that's brother. No, but that's different because you don't grow up with that experience. And, and, you don't know what that feels like. You've been black your whole life. You fit exactly. in with your environment, period. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, he might have had some experiences because he's white skin, but ultimately, yeah, you really can't, you really can't understand really what it is, you know, to be mixed race, even if you have biracial kids. And the fact that you don't take it into account is a little bit worrisome because you do have biracial children. So, you, you know, you should probably listen very closely, you know, to these talking points. Hmm. And that's why I won't date or procreate outside of my race because I've watched biracial children grow up. And that shit don't look like no fun. Uh, look kind of fucked up. And then some well, you know what? We up. all have our struggles. We all have our struggles. But at the end of the day, it is a beautiful thing to be biracial and to come from two cultures and two different. So I'm not going to take that away either. So I don't want to do that. Oh, I wouldn't take it away. Um, I'm not going to tell nobody that they can't do it. I'm just saying. For but, but we all have our struggles in life is my point, I guess. You know? Biracial just, like black, just like black people have their own struggles your black children are going to have their own struggles just like right. biracial children they're, they're just going to have a different set of struggles you know but every yeah, but being from two different races doesn't mean two different it's cultures it's hard not fitting in anywhere North and Koreans, that's exactly not always that yeah biracial children can understand every and right. adults every human culture has its paradox has its opposite and that war that goes on there are people in india that don't like the indian people there are people in korea that don't like the korean people here we have That's our not, shit this is not the same thing though but it, it it's still the same of the energy of it's not a difficulty of which people are a whole separate group of their own pa pardon me i'm just i'm saying that Sorry. It's, still, it's still a challenge that they we are all fitted with we all, e even whether you like them or not, white people, they have certain challenges. We all do. And it is, it is of my opinion and humble at that, that, you know, people have to get past that. And until then, we won't make overall progress as society. Worrying about who with who, people going to be with who they won't be with. Like, and, you know, uh, if, if people treated people better, I, that's why I was gonna chime in before too. You know, I think this, this, a lot, a lot of things are consequential. Like uh, brother man said, uh, uh, April could come up and say hi, Raheem, and they off headed down the aisle. Why? Because Raheem been getting battered and badgered, and and and, and, and you know what I'm saying, kicked and they scapegoat and all this and that. Somebody come along, treat them nice. What the fuck? What do you think is gonna be? Raheem up out of here, and he leaving with April tomorrow. Type just, shit. Or Lisa or a Mei Ling or whoever. Thank you, thank you brother. And hey, hey, and just two plus two equals four. It ain't it ain't that complicated. <laughs> just a smile. Oh, like a smile. Hey, how's your day going? Would you like to go out sometime? That's it. And that brother is out of here. Yep. Hey, what do you that, want? That to brother be? is out of here, man. Period it's, point blank. Constantly it, warring. That's what we're doing. Ain't no peace. And they know this. They not like these women are not, they're not children. They they smarter than that. They know this. What women know this? Sex does not hold relationships together. Only but for so long. Don't confuse I just wanna, why, love. I just want to know why women know these. Why do so many women think that everyone's entitled to like accept them? Like all, only men have to improve, but women don't. I swear, man. Well, I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm pretty exactly sure. right there. <laughs> like, oh, it's like men have to be the best of themselves, but women have to be accepted no matter what. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sorry. I don't I don't either because we have so much pressure and judgment on us, so I, I don't wow. really understand that either. What, you know? So, so men don't have any type of pressure. I didn't say that. See, it's always one extreme to the next. If you say one thing and then the next talking point is something extreme. So you're saying this. No, I didn't say that. We all have expectations on us placed by society, you know, and I don't think it's right to shame black men for dating outside of their race either. None of this shit is right. And the reason why we're talking about it is just to have discussion and maybe to open people's minds a little bit, to be a little bit more open-minded. So we probably shouldn't be sitting here judging each other. And I do want to end this on a positive note because we're hitting two hours. Did you guys want to say anything before we got out of here? Yeah, I wanted to say something. Like a lot of this, uh, like I said with Chrissy from the beginning, 
I've peeped her. I peeped. I peeped her demo from the jump. Chrissy was a manipulator. She's a liar, and she's very selfish. She's sneaky. She's no different from Paris. She's just a lot more sneaky. She manipulated her young audience into turning them against. Uh, because first she didn't have any problem against light-skinned or multiracial women. She didn't have any problem against black men. Then all of a sudden, as time went on, she slowly started uh, reiterating information into um, her her content, insinuating certain things, outright directly saying certain things, and then turning around and manipulating her audience to have this. It was it's, it's what you call um, um, hate corn. Hate corn content. And that's and that's exactly what it is, because it fuels the hatred and the insecurities that you have in yourself to go and take out all of this vitriol and project it on other people. I don't see how people can at make the um can can uh come up understand that the anger and the vitriol that uh these women, certain women have against the multiracial women on how they can that that doesn't add up with other people men or other groups of men as well it's the same formula so now that things has gotten hot because you've had women uh from the uh exotical community push back against her she don't like to face um conflict so now she's running because she know that it's a possibility too a lot of this stuff that she said was false so she don't want to have to come up with an explanation to explain to her audience because she never cared about uh, BWE. She never cared about the sisterhood. Chrissy was for Chrissy, just like Paris is for Paris. And Paris is disgusting. She's a very disgusting human being. Yeah. Very disgusting. She's, a total, she's a total bitch. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Rakim. I appreciate you. Does anybody else want to say anything before we get out of here, promote your channels or whatever? Oh, I want to promote my channel. I just want to say that I'm so excited that she's about to be done. Um, <laughs> uh, the golden sphere finally has trumped you like a super fucking hero with superpowers. Bye, bitch. Anyway, oh, wow. We love you so much. And I love, love you too, you boo. Much. Thank you for coming so, up. So Don't be a stranger. I won't. I I'll stay up as much as I can. But love you so much. Um, big hearts. Love to you too, boo. And um, I'll see you soon. All right, honey. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, hey, Gigi, anybody I, else? I just wanted to add one more thing, real quick. How come they don't talk about the black women that defend black men on how they on how they was attacked and they was getting called pick me's and mammies and everything else? Nobody ever talk. We're about gonna have to leave that for another stream because it's already two in the morning and it's a school day. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just saying because it's a lot of it's a lot of black women that support black men because they know black men support. Of course. Them. But they, yes. they they was attacked by those same type of women that the uh, biracials was attacked by. Yeah, like I said, that's a discussion for another day because a lot a lot of times those women are actually but they're making content to attack other women. So that's where you know the problems come in. But we'll we'll do that for another stream, you know. Well, thanks for having me up. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks moment. for clicking the link. I always wondered what the golden spirit was. <laughs> I was like, what is what is this? <laughs> so like I'm glad I was um, able to catch a live stream. Thanks for having me up. I appreciate it. Have a good night, honey. You too. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, likewise. All right, Marquise, you want to say something? Oh, I just want to point out, um, I don't go by the like by race. I go by the one drop rule, so everybody black to me. Secondly, <laughs> old girl just mad because my wife is beautiful. And I don't know, it's, I've noticed that with a lot of women. If they see you with a beautiful woman, they just go straight for her. It's just so it ain't no thing yeah. to me. It's just a compliment. So, but that's it, man. You do have a beautiful, you have a beautiful wife. Yeah, I know. So, uh, y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all have it easy. Bye, Marquis. Marquis. All right, Blunt Mover, you want to say something for you, go? Thanks for having me up. Uh, glad to actually touch base with you. Appreciate it chiming yeah. in. I don't step on any toes, upset anyone. I didn't come here for that. I just like to participate. Yeah, no, I up. totally appreciate it. I realized that it was actually past what I was think was going on, so thought was going on. So therefore, my apologies for any of the you know, aggressiveness if it seemed that if it came off that way. Otherwise, uh, enjoy what you got going. I'll stop back in when I catch a notification. If it's cool with you, I appreciate you. Have a good night. All right, you do the same. Bye -bye. Peace out. All right, Rakim. I know you got something else to add, Rakim. Well, I just want to say thanks for uh, letting me up here, um, Gigi. Of course. Again, um, 
I know we we disagree on certain things, but I really enjoy uh, coming up here to your platform. But I just hate how it always turns back to it's black men's fault. Now it's black men's fault that started the war between multiracials and uh, dark skinned black women, even though multiracials don't particularly just date black men. They date everybody. But all of a sudden, you know, it a lot of this is just like I said, these women's own low self-esteem and their own insecurities. And in some cases, what Malti said is passed down from generation to generation. And a lot of it is just wanting to have global validation. Or even if we know that's not the case with multiracial women, uh, it's that perceived, um, it's that perceived, what's the word I'm looking for? That perceived privilege that they think they have that they want. Okay. It, it just comes down to jealousies, insecurities. And a lot of these women just don't like what they see in the mirror. And, so, and, Believe it or not, some of the times it doesn't have anything to do with black men. It don't. It's like black men can tell you, you you're beautiful. I like your chocolate skin. I like your natural hair. I like your 4C hair. I like the way that you care. And it falls on deaf ears because it's nothing you can tell me that you like about me if I don't like me. So that's all I got. Yes, I, I mean, I definitely think that, um, like I said before, multiple things can be true at once. And it's a whole bunch of different things. You can't just blame everything on one problem. It's, I agree. There's lots of different um, aspects of it. Happy, you said you wanted to add something really quick. And you're, and you're welcome for um, coming up. You're always welcome. Um, even if we don't agree on a lot of things, I appreciate and respect your point of view. Uh, Happy, well, did you want to add something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I I feel for you. I mean, I don't know what the mids ways go through, but I feel for y'all. I feel like the mids people are black to me because they got black features. I mean, they can dance. They know how to cook. I mean, so people get hate all types around. Just be mids and be proud and uh, all types of races. I believe in one thing. You can be white, black, or brown. If you're confident in yourself, that's good. But if you're insecure, people are going to pick on you, no matter what race you are. So, that's my final All right, goal. well, thank you for adding that, Happy. I appreciate you. Maybe next time you can hit the panel and we can have a discussion. Yeah. All right, have a good night. Go ahead, Irby. Uh, so this was a great stream. Love and support mm -hmm. all y'all. Shout out to Gigi. Shout out to 18. Shout out to Exoticals. I'm glad everybody's starting up the channel, getting in that pushback. I will be here hitting the link hit, or leaving a comment on all y'all channel. All right, Irby. Thank you so much for all your support. We appreciate you. All right. Good night, everyone. Right. Good night. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up to my impromptu stream. I love y'all. Bye.